So basically, I'm going to post a link to uh, Ahmed uh, Tabibi's article on here, um, the full article, while commenting on it at the same time. I think the crux of this article, in my interpretation at least, is basically we get the government we deserve for the most part. So what he's saying is, what's wrong with Goldman Sachs posting $3.44 billion in profits in the second quarter, uh, and now in the third, by the way, and what's wrong with the company so far earmarking $11.4 billion in compensation for its employees? Now, this has been up to, uh, in the third quarter to $26 billion, by the way, in terms of bonuses. What's wrong with it is that it's not a free market earning, but it's an almost pure state subsidy. In other words, it's, it's subsidized by us, the people. Last year, when, when Hank Paulson told us all that the planet was going to explode if we didn't, fo uh, if we didn't fork over gazillion dollars to Wall Street immediately, Without discussion, the entire rationale not only for TARP but the whole galaxy of lesser known state crutches and safety nets quietly ushered in later on was that Wall Street, once rescued, would pump money back into the economy, create jobs and initiate a widespread recovery. Now, the only recovery we've seen so far is that balloon coming out of the sky at, you know, someplace over Colorado. That's the only recovery I've seen so far. This, uh, we were told, was the reason we needed to pilfer, to, uh, to pilfer massive amounts of middle class taxes and hand it over to the same guys who had just blown up our entire financial system to start with. We'd save their asses and they would save ours. That was the deal. Although it didn't work out that way. We constructed this massive bailout infrastructure and instead of pumping that free money back into the economy, the banks instead hoarded it and ate it up on the spot, converting it right now into bonuses for some of their highest paid employees. This is the final evidence that the bailouts were a political decision to use the power of the state to redirect society's riches and contributions upward on a grand scale. It was a selective rescue of a small group of jerks who must be laughing all the way to the Hamptons every weekend about how they fleeced all of us at the very moment the game should have been up for them. But the game is not up at all. In fact, they've been given a free ride once again. And nobody seems to be too upset about it. You're not seeing any massive demonstrations out uh, in the streets. What you're seeing is teabaggers are complaining about their taxes and complaining about other demonstrators when they're actually railing against this system without understanding that this very system is also robbing them. So please read the article and if you're too lazy to read it, uh, <laughs> there's probably no hope for you at this point. Um, the conclusion of this article is very telling. And uh, this is not some, you know, not some uh, rant, uh, ranting and raving on uh, Tabibi's part. He's got the facts to prove it on uh, on his blog uh, and in articles. Uh, 
So um, <laughs> take a look at it, and, and like I say, if if you're not interested, then um, then you're not, and you'd rather uh, see fairy tales on television, I suppose. Taken all together, what all of this means is that Goldman's profits uh, is a big giant fuck you for everybody else in this society. It's a statement of supreme privilege, an announcement that feels no shame in taking subsidies from all of us and funneling them directly into the pockets of the super wealthy again. And they have no fear of a public response because there essentially isn't any. It knows that it's untouchable for now and it's not going to change its behavior one bit. One bit. And it doesn't matter who knows it. We can all make our little blogs and vlogs on here. It's not going to make a it's not going to make a goddamn bit of difference. People say, you know, while well, they earned it, they <laughs> the counter argument that is, they say, well, look, they they paid back the tarp money, they earned it, and they did it upright, and it's not unlawful and all of that. And uh, uh, you know, the difference between uh, bailing out somebody, giving them more contracts, is that you expect something in return for that. And the Boeing and uh, Electric Boat, by the way, didn't start this war. The war was started by the billionaires on Wall Street against the rest of us. And they think it's great. And they're going to keep right on doing what they're doing as long as the public is once again gullible enough to believe all the lies that they hear on basically mainstream television once again. So yeah, it's a, it's a recovery, all right. A great recovery, especially, you know, for the super wealthy. You know, as I've said... Uh, it's going to take a critical mass of people to get pissed off enough to do something about this and evidently it hasn't reached the point here yet to where perhaps 30% or so of the people are unemployed with no um, <laughs> with no kind of hope for a re-employment within the next year to begin to become agitated enough to take to the streets and raise a raucous and without that kind of a raucous, nothing is going to change. So we can all, all rant and rave on here. It's not going to make a goddamn bit of difference. Unless it starts hurting basically the middle class enough to where enough people are effective, uh, affected by it to basically get royally pissed off. And of course, what the elites are hoping for is that we're going to get pissed off at each other. And they have always had a plan for this. And I can guarantee you this is precisely uh, how it's going to work out. We're going to be blaming the lesser of us instead of the very higher ups and the 5% for our own misery. Instead of working and cooperating with each other, we're going to be finding scapegoats amongst those who have even less than us. Under the rubric, you know, they're taking our jobs away, when in reality, in the global community, we're all getting screwed. So, you know, keep that in mind. For some people to say that this administration is socialist or communist is, is basically, it's laughable. So uh, please read up the definition of communism and socialism in case the history books get changed while we're talking. Um, 
This administration has done basically everything in order not to nationalize the bank banks, which means to nationalize the profits which these banks are making right now, thanks to our taxpayer generosity. But for some reason that seems to be flying over people's heads, you know. It's uh, when the banks are bailed out, it's called socialism. And uh, when people are trying to help out each other, um, it's, uh, it's called fascism now. I'll see you later.